Hey, you guys. So I decided to get out of my basement and to come outside, even though it's actually a little bit cold. I am so tired of being inside though, so here I am in my backyard. And I've been working on the, ooh, and I'm putting a blanket on myself because it's actually starting to look stormy. It was kind of pretty earlier. Oh shoot, I forgot my scissors. I'm gonna have to go get my scissors. But um, I started on the mosaic during our class meeting. And I thought I'd, um, I worked on it some more after our class meeting. And that's how it's starting to look. You can see that the petals, actually if you take a little bit closer of a look, you can see that I drew a very simple design with pencil on the sheet of paper. And this was like a scrap sheet of paper. This is the same kind of paper that you got in your, um, in your bag of art supplies. And so I'm just using it. Um, but I started filling in those shapes. So I had like hearts drawn for the petals of this flower. It's gonna be a flower. So I started filling that in and I'm gonna go get my scissors and I'm gonna show you how I did that. It's actually getting really windy now, so I might actually have to go back inside. <laughs> All right, guys. Talking to so you can see that I've got this area right here. And I want to put that in there. And so what I would do is you can use um, white glue or you can use a glue stick. Whatever you want. You can use like Elmer's. That's totally fine. Um, if I were using Elmer's, what I would do is I would put a little, um, I would put a little bit of Elmer's on a piece of paper off to the side and then dip a pencil into the Elmer's and then put a little dot of Elmer's on the tile. Um, just like that. Just dip it in and then put it on the tile. That'll give you exactly enough glue to stick it down. You don't want to take the whole bottle of Elmer's and try to put a little dot on a tile because too much glue will come out like every single time. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, how do I attach the, um, how do I attach the tiles? And that would be a very valid question. So the way that I've found is I get my tile, I put it in the place that I kind of want it to fit. I think that this tile is gonna fit pretty well, right? Whoa, my sheet of paper just flew in. Right there. And so what I like to do is honestly, I like to take a little bit out with my pencil and take a little smudge of that and then put it on my tile like that and then stick it down. I think that's easier than trying to take that tile and rubbing it on top. If that works better for you though, then feel free to do it, okay? Okay, so see this spot, spot right here? See how that, I want that to be curved right there, that edge. So what I'm gonna do with my next tiles is I am going to actually take this tile and I'm gonna cut it like that. And then I'm gonna see if it's gonna fit okay. Let's see. Maybe it needs to be cut smaller. I'm gonna cut it a little bit smaller. If you like cutting and gluing things, this is like really fun. Sometimes I also just scrape it off the top. Like I said, whatever works best for you is what you should do. Okay, let's see. And then I can put that cut tile there and then there. That's the one I that is curved right there that I just added. So I'm going to do the same thing over there. And then I'm probably going to find a couple of little pieces and fit them in there. And then I'm going to kind of clean this up too. So it's interesting because it looks kind of like a mess for a while. And then 
when you start getting closer to having it done, it actually looks, it starts, it's exciting. It starts looking really good. Okay. The more you fill it in, the better it starts looking. Even though it's really important to leave those little spaces in between the tiles, because you still want it to look like a mosaic. Right? You still want it to look like it's tile. And I know that this is taking quite a while, so um, Maybe if you do a mosaic and then you do the background, I'll give you two weeks, okay? Because just doing the little flower with the leaf is probably enough work for you guys for one week, I'm thinking. I'm going to cut my little green strips and they are going to be part of my leaf and I might make another leaf right here. I don't know quite yet. See how I have my, my leaf right there and I'm putting those greens right along the edge and now I'm going to put as many as I can lining up with this line. And then I'm going to start cutting custom tiles to fit all the in-between shapes. Like, see that point right there? I'll cut a custom tile for that. You guys don't realize how much I miss you. I'll be so happy to see all of you one day. I also want to commend all of you who have been coming to the meetings. I know there's been a big learning curve on my part when it comes to the technology. And I want to thank you very much for hanging in there with me. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This Captain Crunchberries, they worked pretty well when it came to having all the colors. Of course, you do not have to use Captain Crunchberries, and I would advise you to not eat them. They're not good for you. My daughter forced me to buy them before. Her. She's powerful, that one. Mm I'm having to, I'm doing the little custom ones now to get it to all fit. I like that little leaf. I'm going to make the stem now. It's important to make up a song. When you're working, it will keep you company. While you're working, make a song, sing it to yourself. It will make you happy. Who cares what people think? Make a song and sing it. Ooh, my bracelet's making a racket. Maybe I should take it off. I think I will.
We should all be finding ways to relax and learn, still learn, and also relax at the same time. It's really important. It's important for your brains to be relaxed so that you can learn. See how the stem? I need to add a little piece right there. Hmm. Okay. Done. All right. So at this point, I could be done, or I could do a background. And you know, you know how I am. I'm always wanting to make things better, 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 better. I'm always thinking about how can I make things better. Actually, I'm looking at the center of that flower now, and now I think it needs a black dot in the very center. Oh, ooh, there's a squirrel. Um, but I also think it needs a background design, and so I'm going to go and get some dark paper. I want it to contrast with the colors, so I want something different from the colors, because if I did it all yellow, then the yellow petals of the flower would just fill in. Hmm... I am thinking, you know what, I'm going to do dark blue, I cannot do dark blue, that'll look really nice. cover the whole background with blue so right now I'm not like I don't know maybe I'm not super crazy about it but I think once it's done it'll be good on me but I've found that if I just put them down and then I take my hand and I press down like that some glue gets on your hand but it actually they flatten down pretty nicely 